Hey guys, Dmitry here with Roofing Insights. I'm sorry I'm all dressed up today. I don't look like a roofer. I have a very important meeting, but I did not want to skip my Wednesday product review. And today I'm talking about Roof Snake. Snake has been with us for a couple of years now. We absolutely love it. One of the reasons is because my company does a lot of roof repairs and it's an absolutely must tool in the toolbox for us. We do a lot of uh, ITEL reports, maybe you adjuster or your insurance company or maybe you insurance restoration company and you a lot, every once in a while have to take shingle off the roof to send it to ITEL or maybe do small repair. This is a must have tool. I'm surprised how many people have never heard of it, never seen it. And one of the reasons is because you can't find it in a local box store. It's not something you buy at Home Depot or Lowe's, Menards. Uh, I buy it on Amazon, great tool, really tough build. You can buy it also in the specialty um, stores. And I can tell you right now that it's a life saver for roofers. Uh, or if you're not a roofer, you don't swing hammer every day, it's even bigger lifesaver because so many times when you're trying to replace one shingle or maybe you're working on a chimney, every single time you don't start with the top, you know, when you install the shingles, you always have exposed nail lines. But if you start below, maybe you add a drip, drip edge, gutter apron, no matter what you do, and a lot of gutter guys could use it too, every time you start on a shingle from below and you have to lift higher course of shingles to drive that nail, that's where roof snake comes really, really handy. All right guys, so one of the main applications that you have here is, uh, you know, obviously you can use it just as a curl bar, you can lift up your shingles, you can get them loose, just like with a regular pry bar. But the key is old school, if you would have to add nail to the nailing zone on a shingle that already have a top course above it, when you do this, you can really easy damage the shingle by hitting it. You can also damage it by crisping it on the back. So you would have to do, try to manage. It's much higher, it's doable, it's not like it cannot be done, it's absolutely be doable. Obviously, if you do something every day, you wanna be as efficient as you possibly can be, and I don't know any better way to drive nail to a nailing zone than with a roof snake. So what you do, you put a roof nail in a roof snake, you lift it up, put it right here, wherever you need to be, and you just drive a nail down. Shingle is protected and safe. Do that and then you top it in. Boom. Nail is in, beautifully done. Uh, shingle is not damaged and you're not risking to damage it. Uh, you also didn't crisp here because you didn't have to lift it all the way up. This is perfect when you work in a small area that's already have maybe you work in a flashing when it meets flat roof. Maybe you work in an area around the chimney where you add a dormer uh, flashing or something like that, or a cricket. So a uh, few things about tool itself. We have it for a couple of years. You can see how beat up it is. And uh, it's really, really well made. I would say it's made for beating. I hope you guys find my reviews helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe to my channel. We do tool reviews every Wednesday and every Saturday product reviews. Thanks for watching guys. Hope it helps. See you next time.